everybody, today I'm going to tell you everything about Empower and how to get it and every way you can make power in Create. If you want more of these videos where I tell you everything about a certain thing in Create, then make sure to uh, subscribe that, um, as it really do help and let's get on to the video. So the first thing you are going to get is probably the water reel. It's very basic and um, its recipe is... Just a large cockwheel and eight birch or eight eight uh, wooden slabs around it, and you get one of these. And it can generate 160 US or power. But if you turn it the other way around, you can actually almost double the amount of power you get. But this one over here generates uh, 256 uh, power. That's because of the way it's placed. As you can see here, the the thing that sticks out here is is pointing this way, and this one is pointing that way. If your water wheel is only generating this much, you can just turn it around, and it will generate 256 power. When you have a little um, a little more resources, a little more these uh, large cock wheels you can make a lot of them and they actually all connect here and uh, all generate the same amount of power and when it's all connected it can it generates 6000 power um, and that's pretty good for this very Wait, cheap war wheel for? we have the windmill now the windmill's maximum power is 8200 and 92 power and you will need this window bearing and just uh, these white sails and you will be good to go just pop the window bearing and just put a load of these on and start to generate power so that's very easy the only uh, and you only need 65 white sails to actually maximize the power and you will get an achievement for it so you know when it's max but white sails aren't the only thing you can uh, use on this windmill bearing you will also use white wool but you will need a radial chassis to like uh, stick around it and have it to be super glued first, so you can attach to the chest, and then it will generate power. It's not as effective because you will get off of only this one wool. You can get you get eight white sails, so it's not really that worth it. I will be I will be using these white sails instead. But to optimize the space, I will probably make a design like this. I don't know why, but I th um, this actually wa wastes a lot of these uh, white sails. Um, I think I have like uh, 65 here, but it only says that it has 5000 power. So maybe uh, just make it in a shape like this or like windmills or anything like this. If you're the person who only wants to power a specific thing um, just really quick, you can make this very very small um, power with either a magma block, a campfire, some lava and some fire. And just have an encased fan on top with a lever and when you activate the lever it can actually generate 64 power which is um, very good you can if you just want a belt to be moved or anything like this you can pop this up and connect this to the belt and just have it go and this is like this is more of like a portable i will say a portable um, power source almost this is super easy to just pop up or make this and just have it there. Very good for one contraption or something like that. Now if you really want to make a lot of power, you can use a flywheel and a furnace engine. 
with that furnace. And this can actually generate up to uh, 60,000 uh, power. As you can see here, 60,384 power. And that's a lot. And the way you build it is just the furnace, the furnace engine, and the flywheel. And when these two connect, you know it's connected and it works. And you can just put a shaft in here, and you can just put the shaft in here and make it plug up to every power thing. This is very powerful, and you can actually make an infinity farm, so this will go forever. And I actually have a video for that, so if you want to see that, um, it's on my, my YouTube channel. Now if you want to control your power, have it move at different speeds. The first way you can uh, do this is by making a rotation speed controller. And how this works is you need to have a power source run through a large cogwheel and into the rotation speed controller and then to the sides it can, it can rotate at the speed you give it. So if I wanted to make the speed, let's say 1, I can make it go 1. And now this encased fan is very, very, very slow. But if you just take this to the max, it's now so powerful that it can hold me up. You can make your contraption go faster, or belts, or any contraption for that matter. And it can even go the other way around. Now if you wanted to do it the cheap way, this is how you speed up a contraption. You will just need a large cockwheel to a little cockwheel. If you want to speed up your contraptions, you can um, take the power into a large cockwheel. And then put a, a normal cockwheel here, that and that will make it go faster. And then you can do it again, which will make, make it a little bit faster, and faster, and faster, and faster. You can make it all up to the most power, or you can make it to max speed. And it doubles in the speed every time you do it. You can have it go this fast, but you can't actually place anything there try to place a shaft, it can't go there, so reverse and be slowed down. You just need to reverse the thing I just said here when we sped up. Um, so place a little cogwheel with the power, and then a large, a little, large, little, large, little, until it can literally have 0 0.01 rotation per minute. And it's very crazy that we, we can get something that's that slow, um, but you can get it at 1.0.02, you know, 0.03, 6, 12, uh, 15, or 25, um, half a rotation per second, meter, minute, one, one rotation per minute, and two, and just doubles in sizes. And to prove that this actually moves, and um, I will make a little time lapse of it, it moving a bit. Well, what are we waiting for? Gonna paint our wagon, gonna paint it good. We ain't bragging, we're gonna coat that wood. Now, if you want to see ten things you can do, you can make in create. Click right here, and if you want to see a suggested video, you can click right here because that is unfortunately it for this video. If you want to uh, support me, make more videos of this series I'm working on, you can subscribe, it really helps, and like. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.